Good morning, BSRT2 students. So we are now on module 10. This is electromagnetic spectrum. This topic, medyo kalma-kalma muna tayo before we go deeper with the physics side of radiation. So electromagnetic spectrum. So as been submitted by in your videos, in your three-minute video talk, so some of your classmates have already mentioned about the electromagnetic spectrum, the wide range of radiation. That is, okay, so from a single non-ionizing radiation up to the ionizing radiation. So kilalanin natin yung iba-ibang klase ng radiation, hopefully, with this lecture. So what is electromagnetic spectrum? So we all know that ever present all around us is a field or state of energy called electromagnetic energy and in a way we call that radiation. So the energy exists over a wide range called electromagnetic or energy continuum. When we say continuum, this is an uninterrupted or a continuous ordered sequence. So grouped together, these types of energy make the electromagnetic spectrum. So ito yun. So kung makikita nyo, from a building, human being, butterfly, so on and so forth. So this is the continuous types of energy. Ano? So we call this an electromagnetic spectrum. So mapansin nyo dito, color blue, that is for non-ionizing and this one for ionizing radiation. Sige, let's talk about it more in this section. Okay, so kung makikita nyo class, this is taken from your book, from our reference. So it says here that the electromagnetic spectrum contains three different scales. One each for energy, frequency, and wavelength. Again, ito ho, we have for energy, we have for frequency, and we have for wavelength. So yun yung, okay, these are the three parameters in the electromagnetic spectrum. So titingnan natin yung energy. Tingnan natin yung frequency and of course the wavelength of each type of radiation na pasok sa electromagnetic spectrum. Sito. So because the velocity of all electromagnetic energy is constant, paano na sabi natin constant? Paano ba yung velocity or the speed? Diba? So we said that electromagnetic uh, 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 radiation exists with the velocity of light. Diba? That is equivalent to C which is equal to 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Diba? So that is the velocity of light. So again, because all the velocity of all electromagnetic energy is constant, the wavelength and frequency are inversely related. So, pansinin nyo dito, wavelength and frequency are inversely related. Pag mataas, mataas yung frequency, mababa yung wavelength. For example, yung frequency is nasa 10 raised to positive 23. Tapos, yung wavelength niya is nasa 10 raised to the negative 15. Dito naman, mababa yung wavelength niya. Nasa 10 raised to positive 2, whereas yung wavelength niya is nasa 10 raised to positive 6. So, they are inversely related, which means that it should be clear that these three scales are directly related. Three scales. One is velocity. Another is the wavelength. And the other is the frequency. So fast forward tayo. These three parameters are described mathematically using the sine wave equation. Paano yung sine wave equation? That is velocity equals frequency times the lambda. So the 
um, the, the symbol for the speed or the velocity is V, frequency is 4F, and the Greek letter lambda, this is for wavelength. So since, again, we said that velocity is constant, that is 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second, so magiging variable mo na lang dito are the frequency and the wavelength, in which we said that the frequency and wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation are inversely proportional. And the relationship is um, mathematically described using the sine wave equation. So do not be or do not worry because in the succeeding module, module 11 and 12, so we will discuss the sine wave equation. Okay, so basta alam natin that the frequency, as the frequency becomes higher, the energy or the wavelength, sorry, the wavelength is low. Okay, as the wavelength is low uh, and again, the, the frequency is high. So the other way around, if the frequency is low, the wavelength is high. Okay. So, by the way, class, nagrigsok na ito ng lecture, no? So, fast forward, utro tayo. Frequency is in terms of hertz, capital letter H, small letter Z, or that is per second. Negative second, dirito yan, negative 5, ha? Negative, or my, uh, negative S, that is designated as oscillation per second. And the wavelength is expressed in wavelength, lambda, is expressed in meter, or meron tayong symbol, A, tapos may round sa taas, that is angstrom. Okay? Sige, next. Here, if one knows the value of electromagnetic energy on one scale, one can easily compute its value on the other two. So, if one daw knows the value, kung alam yung value ng energy, so compute natin yung frequency and velocity. So, kung kanina, sinabi natin that um, ano yun, frequency and wavelength combined with the velocity is described by the mathematical equation, sine wave equation. So, dito naman, energy... And with respect to wavelength and frequency is described using the Planck's quantum theory. That is, energy equals to, to, to H, that is the Planck's constant multiplied by frequency. So sir, nasaan dyan yung wavelength? Actually here can be a derivation of wavelength that is based sa ating um, sine wave equation. Nakuha, medyo malabo ano. So, kung hanapin natin si wavelength base sa energy, so we will um, ano to, replace frequency with the formula na makukuha natin based sa um, sine wave equation. So, i-divide natin ang isang variable to other variable para makuha natin si wavelength. Okay, so again, if one knows the value of electromagnetic energy on one scale, one can easily compute its value on the other two. So, yun. So, nauna, na-describe natin yung... Okay, so energy naman, kung kanina na-mention natin si frequency, the SI unit, and the wavelength, si energy naman class, of course, tatandaan natin that... Okay, so energy is expressed in joules. Dito naman meron pa tayong isang unit that is in terms of electron volt. Hmm. I guess na nabasa nyo na yan kasi may mga, may mga equation na tayo dati na gumagamit tayo ng kilo electron volt, mega electron volt. So, yun. So, yun, that is also a, as a unit for energy. So, in the next modules, so we will identify what is their conversion factor for every 1 joule ilan for 2 to electron volt okay so let's move on so the frequency range of electromagnetic energy extends from 10 raised to positive 2 
up to 10 raised to 24. Okay? So, pansin ninyo class, lahat ng frequency natin nasa, yung exponent niya ay nasa positive. Uh -oh. So, wala pa tayong na-record na frequency na nag-negative. Ano yun? Negative oscillation. So, again, the frequency range of electromagnetic energy extends from 10 raised to 2 to 10 raised to the power of 24 hertz. So, this is the SI unit for frequency. Or, pwede mo siya. For every 1 hertz, it hurts, you know. So, for every 1 hertz, 1 oscillation per second. Neg minus S yan ha, hindi yan minus 5. Kasi yung ibang uh, students ko before, nag-cancel ng S yung pagkabasa na naging negative 8. So, na-cancel siguro yung uh, uh, oscillation per second ng dalawang quantity. Hindi malaman kasi nangopya lang ng classmate. Ano yun, ano yun? So, nangopya, so naging negative 8. So, mali yun ha. So, the photon wavelengths associated with this radiation are approximately from 10 raised to 6 to 10 raised to negative 16. Okay? So, positive dito. So, sinabi natin, pag mataas yung uh, NF wavelength, mababa yung frequency. Whereas, pag mababa yung wavelength, mataas yung frequency. Uh, so, this is a confirmation of the sine wave equation. Ano? So, tarong ko ha, the photon wavelength associated with these radiations are approximately from 10 raised to 6 up to 10 raised to the negative 16 meter respectively. Okay? So, um, this wide range of values covers many types of electromagnetic energy, most of which are familiar to us. Mm -hmm. So, again, sa ating SI unit ng wavelength, meron tayong meter. At the same time, meron tayong angstrom. Ha? Ang strom. Dere Armstrong. Yun. Sige. Next. The known electromagnetic spectrum has three regions important to radiologic science. So, we have visible light, X and gamma radiation, and radio frequency. Other portions of the electromagnetic spectrum include ultraviolet light, infrared light, and microwave radiation. So, let's get to know the components of the electromagnetic radiation. So, una, ang aton mention is the visible light, although this is not the first um, portion or the least portion kasi oh so we have radio wave microwave infrared visible light ultra x-rays and gamma rays so una natin may mention is the visible light visible light occupies the smallest segment of the electromagnetic spectrum tandaan nyo yan class kasi um, tinatanong yan sa board exam sa, tinatanong doon what i, what what the segment occupies the smallest portion in the electromagnetic spectrum. So, alam na natin na si visible light yun. So, kung may kita mo dito sa ating illustration, ito lang ang portion ni visible light. Yan. So, sunlight also contains two types of visible light. So, aside from the visible light portion, so we have the infrared and ultraviolet. So, lower, uh, nasa lower portion ng visible light, nandun si infrared, at saka sa upper portion naman ng visible light, nandoon si ultraviolet. So, when we say infrared light, this consists of photons with wavelengths longer than those of visible light, but shorter than those of microwaves. So, infrared light hits any substance on which it shines. So, it may be considered radiant heat. Okay, so, magbigay nga kayo, ng mag-research nga kayo kung ano yung mga day-to-day, um, -day, um, let's say, ano yan, gadget or equipment na gumagamit ng infrared radiation. So, 
Other than that, ultraviolet light is associated with in the electromagnetic spectrum between the visible light and ionizing radiation. Nandito na yung ionizing radiation, nandito naman yung visible light. Okay, so it is responsible for molecular interactions that can result in sunburn. Diba? Sabi natin, yung sunlight contains ultraviolet rays. So remember that the ultraviolet range, the wavelength is from 10 rays to negative 7 up to 10 rays to negative 9. So medyo mas mataas-taas yung energy niya compared sa visible light. Kaya it can cause localized uh, sunburn. Uh, tinatawag nating uh, eritima. Oh, yan. So kaya yung iba ayaw magpa ano magpa magpasudang kay nahadlok kay oh tama naman yan class kasi nga um, some studies have also found that um, too much exposure to sunlight can actually um, result in early aging so mas ma uh, ano ka na um, mag arog ka dayon if you are too much exposed to sunlight so yung iba nga ano yung mga uh, compared mo yung mga taong uh, masyadong exposed sa sun versus yung mga nag wow yung mga naka aircon lang di ba masyadong malambot yung kanilang skin so hindi pa nagko-cost ng localized pitting okay yan so it is responsible again for molecular interactions that can result in sunburn uh, wala tayong discrimination ng skin ha we we respect those that are black but and those that are white Hindi naman sinasabi natin yung black too much exposed to sunlight. Okay? So, yun. Although, may mga studies din naman, di ba, recommended pa nga ng uh, mga uh, clinical uh, uh, workers na if you get exposed to sunlight, especially in the morning, di ba, before 8 a.m., so that, that, that can... Uh, there's an advantage na merong vitamin D that will be helpful, di ba, sa human body. So, above that, above, above 8 a.m., so, hindi na masyadong nutritious yung sunlight. Well, nutritious. Okay, next. Radio frequency. So, tapos na tayo sa visible light. And, of course, aside from the visible light, we have in, uh, discussed the infrared and ultraviolet. Now, let's come to radio frequency. So, typically, ito yung mga nasa naririnig nyo sa radyo, sa television. So, dito, dito papasok. In fact, nandito siya. Yun. Ito, 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 ito. May antenna. Okay. So, naging issue nga ito during pandemic because na-closed yung radio frequency signal ng ABS-CBN. Di ba? So, radio frequency covers a considerable portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, so radio frequency, radio waves, ito yun. Considerable, medyo mataas yung um, na-occupy ng radio frequency. So very short wavelength is microwave radiation. Okay, so very short wavelength dito sa radio frequency is the microwave. So microwaves have many uses such as cellular uh, telephone communications. Yes, um, our cell phones, we use uh, uh, microwaves. Hindi yung microwave oven. So, high-speed monitoring, medical diathermy. Ma diathermy meaning that's um, application of heat, diba? Ther thermy heat. And hot dog preparation. Okay, next. So, standard AM radio broadcasts have wavelength of about 100 meter. Uh, okay, so radio... Television and FM broadcasting occur at much shorter wavelengths. Because microwaves are also used for communication, such as a cellular cell phone, radio frequency and microwave emissions overlap considerably. So, yun, class. Um, if you own a radio station or TV station, kailangan um, approve yan sa, um, sa house, so sa mga congressmen, that uh, your... Uh, station is legalized para hindi na siya gamitin pa ng iba. Yung radio frequency mo, hindi na pwedeng magamit pa ng ibang radio station. Kumbaga, this is your identity. I don't know yung ano yung... Kasi I'm, 
wala naman akong AM at saka FM dito sa Katarman. I don't know kung ano yung radio frequency ng ating local radio station dito. So, okay, so, di ba mapansin mo mga radio frequency of 95.5 RM, di ba? 92.7, yan, mga ganyan. So, yun, yan, ina-apply yan, yan sa Congress at saka ina-approve yan ng mga congressman para wala, that is your identity, hindi yan pwedeng makuha ng iba. Nasa batas, yung, na, nasa batas yung radio frequency usage mo. That is why naging controversial yung ABS-CBN. Okay? Sige. Hindi naman ABS-CBN yung focus natin dito. Very short wavelength radio frequency is microwave radiation. So, microwave frequencies vary according to use but are always higher than broadcast radio frequency and lower than infrared. So, microwave have many usage. Again, cellular telephone, that's important. Okay, without microwave, okay, so it's difficult for us to communicate. So, mag-snail mail na lang muna tayo. Mag-signed language. Okay, mag-love letter. Yan, maganda yun. High-speed monitoring, medical diathermy, and hot dog preparation. So, radio frequency. So, meaning... Balikan natin class ha. So meaning ito may mga radiation din. Kanina sa 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 visible light. Ano, wag na lang. So may 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 ano din, ayan, sa visible light, meron ding radiation, di ba? So radiation definitely is everywhere. So different from RF or visible light. Oy. Dito na pala tayo. Nandito na pala tayo sa ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation, so yung mga na-mention natin, particulate radiation and electromagnetic radiation, they are categorized under ionizing radiation. So, um, different from RF or radio frequency or visible light, ionizing electromagnetic energy usually is characterized by the energy contained in a photon or in a quantum or an electromagnetic energy. So, the, these are energy disturbances in space. They are not particle. No, no. So, when uh, an X-ray imaging system is operated at 80 kVp, the X-rays it produces contain energies ranging from 0 to 80 kilo electron volt. So, ito, ito. We are now mentioning about the energies. Okay, so... An X-ray photon contains considerable more energy as compared with light photon or photon frequency. Kaya, nasa, yung location niya is, nasa taas na siya ng ultraviolet. ba Mas higher na yung kanyang frequency at saka energy. Pero mas lower yung wavelength. So, the frequency of x radiation is much higher and wavelength much shorter for other types of electromagnetic energy. Again, so as a closing, wow. Kasi sabi ko nga, usap-usap lang muna tayo. Chill-chill lang muna tayo dito sa ating module 11. Kasi babawi na lang ako sa module... Chill-chill um, tayo sa module 10. Babawi ako sa module 11 and module 12. Again, three regions of electromagnetic spectrum are particularly important to radiologic science. Naturally, the X-radiation... Of course, kasi dyan tayo, the, the, that is our, mostly of our profession in diagnostic radiography, di ba? This is pro fundamental to producing high quality radiograph. The visible light is also important because the viewing conditions of a radiographic or fluoroscopic image are critical to diagnosis. And with the introduction of magnetic resonance imaging, gagamit na tayo ng radio frequency. Oh, oh, yung magnetic resonance or MRI has become more important in medical imaging. So, as I've said, chill muna. Let's just have re uh, relax. So, prepare yourself. Whoop. Malay natin. Mm -mm. So, baka mahirapan tayo sa mga susunod na module. Kaya, um, at least, I have opened uh, 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 your mind Nasa electromagnetic spectrum, mention natin na parameters, the energy, the frequency, and the wavelength, lahat yan. 
magagamit natin sa mga susunod na modules. So that will be for today. And if you have questions, do not hesitate. Okay? So see you next meeting. Good day and God bless. Goodbye!